right you lot welcome back how is everyone today uh, for today's sketchbook page i decided to take a look at insects and study their forms and colors i feel like insects are quite overlooked in like go-to art practices animals and flowers are quite common um, we can all see how looking at them and learning about them how to draw them can uh, broaden your art skills and knowledge in a way that could always come in handy um, flowers are great for colors and natural forms they're so diverse in their shapes there's so much you can learn from studying them, so much that you can add to your inspiration stores to add flair to your next drawing, either with literal flowers or just your use of colour and shape. And it's the same thing with insects, they're so diverse in every single way, it's like a whole new world of possibilities in structure and colour. When you start taking a closer look at them, it's really intriguing and inspiring. I'm going to have to get a book of insects soon because they really are just an unlimited source of ideas, really just captivating and unique. So to get the colours across for this one, I decided to take a chance and use my Copic markers. I don't use them very often and I have a set of only about 20 colours, so my skills in really delivering the essence of what I was drawing may have been a bit limited but I felt like markers would be the best way to get across that iridescent and sometimes translucent look of the body of an insect. And it actually worked out pretty well. Um, my marker technique could obviously do with some work, but once I added the outlines, it really pulled everything together and just had the vibrant effect that I was hoping for. For whatever reason, for the first couple of drawings, I re-outlined them over the original pencil drawing with pencil again and then went over that with pen. I don't know why I didn't go straight over it with pen but eventually I clicked on and stopped with the extra pencil step. So yeah, markers are another thing I'll just have to add to my list of things to work on. This sketchbook series has really given me so much to be getting on with, it's like a snowball effect. I'd really hit a wall with my art before I started this and now there's just this growing momentum to keep creating more and more and try even more things. A lot of people have been commenting recently about how close we are to the end now. I personally have mixed feelings about it. Um, part of me is really happy that I've actually managed to commit to it and get through it. I've been drawing and filming and editing more than I ever have before and it's just been a great way to prove to myself that I can actually do it if I set my mind to it. I'll kind of be relieved when it's over because it means I can sort of get back into a normal routine that isn't just about these videos. I can find time to work on bigger pieces, work on some different video ideas. I'm also kind of dreading it because it's just gone really well and I don't want to fall back into my old ways. And I don't really know what I'm going to do, like what my next step is to keep the momentum up. I'm sure at some point I'll do something like another 30 ways to fill a sketchbook, but not for a little while I don't think. So yeah, mixed feelings, um, but generally I'm feeling good about it, kind of ready to keep moving forward. I'm curious to know what kind of content you guys will be interested in seeing after this. Obviously I'll be doing speed paintings and things, but yeah, um, I don't know. Any suggestions really? The butterfly took a while trying to get the details of the wings right. I expected the butterfly to be my favourite because of the colours and just, you know, because butterflies are always so beautiful. But I actually think the first one was my favourite, the wasp kind of one. I just think it looks quite striking. Um, the last couple of drawings were quite quick. I think I was getting into the swing of things by that point and they both had pretty simple designs. And I've pretty much run out of things to talk about, so I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.